I am so fab. Check out, I'm blonde, I'm skinny, I'm rich, and I'm a little bit of a bitch. Hi, Carrie Ellie here. Ready to give you this week's episode. The wine that the wine that we'll be having today is the Chateau Saint Michel Harvest Select Sweet Riesling, Columbia Valley Vintage 2014. I got this at Bonds. It was like ten dollars or some bullshit. But um, I've never had it. I'm quite excited. So let's do this. I always like to wet the cork so that way it doesn't uh, crumble because a dry cork inside a wine bottle is a very bad thing. There's the color. It smells weird. Hmm. It might smell different in the actual glass. My favorite wine glass again. Favorite wine glass again. Don't mind me. That's not a lot at all. <laughs> Please excuse my constant snorting. I'm getting over a cup. So. It... Smells like berries and it. I want to say it smells like oak, but they don't oak their wines. So I'm confused. But then again, my nose isn't 100% accurate right now. So please try this and smell it for yourself. Here's a taste test. Oh! <coughs> Ooh. That is um exhilarating is a word I want to use. Um oh much better the second time, much better the second time. When you come, it's sweet. That's not what I mean. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is when when you first drink it, it sits sweet on the tongue and then it's comes around and there's a bit of bitter that gets you right in the end. So, where am I looking? I don't know. I can't help myself at all. So, cat hair. Cat hair. Okay, now that I've aerated a little bit in my mouth, so it's very sweet, it has very subtle earthy notes, and then it comes around and you get a bit of that bitter. It hasn't been oaked, however, it does smell of earth. So, I give this about three and a half stars out of five. You know, it's something you can sip at home without having to pair it with any food. It's not as sweet as a Moscato or a Prosecco, but it's not as dry or as bitter as like a Chardonnay or a Pinot. So, oh, and it's um, you, it, it's it's a white wine. It's not it's not a rosé. It's a white wine. So, yay. <laughs> okay, on to my Luke. This is actually yesterday's product. I did um, Sheer Moisture from Target, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and I put too much in. So today I'm just like, instead of me rinsing out all that product and putting all new product in, why don't I just use what was already there, spray it with a, a hair solid spray bottle, get it wet, comb it out, scrunch, make sure it doesn't look like a beast, and then done and done so this is the final result 
it's not as hard as yesterday, which is nice because it no, it wasn't hard yesterday. It was stiff. It was very stiff because there was so much product that was preventing it from moving. <laughs> so kind of lost my mind. But I do highly, highly recommend if you have curly hair, especially if you're a mixed girl and you have curly hair and you have something like my curl, a little bit, so maybe a little bit kinkier, but not too much kinkier because I don't think it'll work for your texture. Try Sheer Moisture from Target. It's not as expensive as Mixed Chicks, but it is more expensive than everything else. <laughs> but um, compared to like Salon, where it's like 30, 40 bucks for a little tub of pomade, you get a big tub about that, big around about that thick for like 12, 13 bucks. So that's not bad. I'm not wearing any makeup today. All I'm wearing is regular Burt's Bees Wax. That's it. Because I'm having a crazy skin day and I don't want to clog my pores with a bunch of makeup and it's crazy stupid hot out here. It's like 90 plus degrees so I'm sweating like an offensive term. <laughs> so yeah. Let's do that. Alright, so um, I'm going to drink and I'm going to tell you what the subject is today. I think this is growing on me. Even though it has that bitter back and I don't like bitter, the sweet kind of balances it. So today we are going to talk about a new Ugg boot that was released right before the holidays. And my not the greatest experience with it. Not Ugg's fault. I bought them in Fashion Valley Mall in San Diego, California. My favorite mall. I only go to that one and maybe Horton Plaza downtown. I don't really go to the other ones. But, um... The staff were great. They helped me out. It took these are my first pair of Ugg boots. I have a pair of Ugg loafers with the Swarovski crystal bow on them, but these are my first pair of Ugg boots. And how can I say this? The comfort is nice, but there's this one thing that keeps malfunctioning that makes me want to throw them in the ocean. So let me bring them for you. So as you can see. Real Uggs. Real Uggs. Um, this is the shoe in its name. The mini Bailey button fancy white and black. They have a red and white one, but I don't like that one. It looks ugly to me. So this is what it looks like. Cute little Ugg. Nice little pearl detail. Very cute. I don't know if you can see it. Says Ugg on here. And has a nice... It's reminiscent, like this texture is reminiscent of the early 2000s Coco Chanel tweed suits. So if you can remember, like, think of Cruel Intentions, the movie. Uh, the little girl who was taking the, vi uh, the viola lessons or whatever. The one that they were conspiring against. Her mother wore a Chanel tweed suit. This is similar to that texture. So as you can see, still have, they're pretty much still new. And by the tread, Swarovski crystals on the back, nothing has popped out. This is the good one. This is what happened. The pearl detail fell out. There you go. See, the pearl detail fell out. And this isn't the first time. So I bought these right before Black Friday weekend. No, no, negative. I bought my first pair were right before Christmas. And I got them, paid full price. These are a whopping $198, not including tax. And I was like, oh my gosh, it took me like an hour to find a freaking pair of boots because my feet were dying and I couldn't, I needed something comfortable which is pretty much the store behind every pair of Uggs I've ever owned. And these are only the second pair. So I went in, I was like, I need some Ugg boots. I need them now. I looked for the loafers. There was nothing I liked. So I was like, I'll, I'll actually get a boot. I was there for an hour and a half, trying on different boots from all different, most of the stuff they didn't have in my size because it was right before Christmas and blah, 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 blah. Finally, I was on my way out of the store because I couldn't find anything. And I saw those and I was like, why don't you show me these? Get them in my size, put them on. I was like, they're great. They're pearls. I love pearls. I prefer them over most other types of jewelry. And it has a little bit of sparkle in the back with Swarovski crystal, so I am in, I'm in heaven right now. I'm wearing them. Two weeks later, 
the pearl pops out of the left boot. I don't know where it popped out. I was walking around Pacific Beach and I looked down and boop, it was gone. I was like, oh no. So because it had only been two weeks, went back, talked to the exact same sales lady. I was like, I just bought these and this shit fell out. And she was like, it's okay, we'll replace them. They ordered me some new ones all the way from Beverly Hills and they got them to me the day after Christmas. So that was nice. So they got me these. I've had these since then and I found out last weekend. I just found that last weekend. Now, this one may be my fault because I was doing like a pub crawl in PB and not exactly the most cautious of where my feet were going. But the next day I was like, no, no, no. And the reason why is because I really like these. And I even like with the first pair of boots, I went there, I went to Michael's. You know, where crafters go. It's like their church. And I was looking for just like something I can just place on there and fix it myself because I didn't want to spend 198 more dollars. Nothing fits. Nothing. There was a pro that was almost big enough, but not quite. So I have a $200 pair of Ugg boots that I only wear when I'm going to the grocery store. Or the laundromat. Or the car wash. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nowhere important or nowhere anyone's going to see me. Because it's embarrassing. This is embarrassing. And I do like them. And they're very comfortable. And I wish I could wear them more. But it's been a long time. And I'm like, you know, I've had them for almost two months. I've only worn them maybe eight times. And... This is ridiculous. Two sh pairs of shoes back to back like this. This should not happen. Their adhesive should be better or something like that. So I'm still on the look. If I can find a half pearl that I can put on here that fits with color and in size and shape and shine and shimmer and all that crap, then I will definitely fix it and then go back to work. I'm, I'm, there is no shame in my game. I'm all about fixing the stuff that you have. But... I'm just really sad because I really like them and it goes with a lot of my clothes so yeah if you if you can avoid these unfortunately I have to say avoid them or buy them and then cover it with like super glue and lacquer and all kind of crap so you never lose it I also heard the same thing for the Swarovski crystals after a while they pop off and you have to take them in and get repaired. And they will repair them. They have like a custom Swarovski crystal program for Ugg boots. So you can pick whatever you want and they'll just do it. So they will. Re they do have the ability to repair them. But it's, uh, it's you know, they're already $200 if you're not plus. I mean, I was even trying on shoes that were like $350 freaking dollars. Because they were knee high with Swarovski crystals and crap like that. And if anything were to go wrong with them in the short amount of time that I've had them, I'll be furious. I'm very furious. I'm actually... I've gotten over my anger, and I'm just sad. So, a <sighs> drink. But, yeah. So, go Uggs. I greatly appreciate it. But, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, I like Uggs. And the saleswoman at the Ugg store in Fashion Valley, San Diego, fantastic. Love her to tears. If you get a chance, she wears glasses. I think she was the only one who wore glasses. Go to her. She's amazing. She's, a, she's like in her 30s. Yeah, I want to say like mid to late 30s. So, wonderful lady. Very frank, and I like that because I don't like them. Mm, how are you doing? Yay. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> So she was very, very frank and I like it. And she helped me get my boots. And even when I came back and I was like, these are broken, she was like, we'll get you new ones. So two thumbs up for their customer service, thumbs down for the actual decorative element of the boot. Because the boot itself is fine, it's just that decorative element. 
So I hope you find this review very helpful. You can they're still for these boots are still for sale full price at the UGG stores, at least here in California. So if you buy them, just be like, hey, let me uh put some crap on top of it or some kind of ceiling or something like that, okay? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I hope this review of the Ugg boot that I purchased was helpful and informs you in your future. Now I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I love wine. <laughs>